Hi, this is Robin Heppel from Funeral Futurist Websites, and we have another Funeral Home Website Training Series video for you. Today we're going to talk about resizing obituary images easy and fast. This is a new utility that we came across and could really speed things up for you if you need to reduce the size of the obituary image for the online obituary. And the name of the program is called Photo Resize, and we've actually pre-configured it for you and we're going to just show you the step-by-step -step actions that you need to take to use this tool. First you're going to download the file and uh, save it to your a folder or your desktop and then you're going to actually just drag the original image on top of the icon and it immediately resizes it to the prescribed width that we need for the online obituary and then you just upload the resized image to the website, paste the link into the custom field for obituary, press publish or update if you've already published the obit, and that's it. It's that simple. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So now I'm here in the training section of the site, and there's the video that you're watching. And right below that, we have the, uh, there's an exe version and uh, a zip version if you wanted to download the zip file first. And all that you do is just right click on this, go save target as, or save link as if you are in Firefox. And then you just uh, save it into your folder. And I'd even just suggest creating a new folder for where you're going to keep all these resizing images. So I would just save it right into here. It's going to download it. And we can actually open the folder. So this is how it works. When you have a, a large image here, like this one, which is uh, far too big, and I'll just show you how big it is at the moment. If we click down on Jack Doe, and this is a huge, huge image here, um, way off to the side. Now this is an exaggeration. Uh, we're, we will show you how we need to fix this. Here's another shot of how big this image is and it should only be 150 by 200 but as you can see it's a really large image so this is how we fix it i'm just going to take this image right here and drag it over top of the program now you may get a warning that comes up and it all depends on your practices of downloading programs from the internet and We've used this program for quite some time, have never had any issues of it, but we cannot take responsibility for downloaded software from the internet. So just to let you know, but I'm gonna, I feel safe that I'll run this here. And what you'll see is we've now got a new image and it just renames it with width 150. And you can see it's gone from 1600 megabytes or kilobytes to eight. So that's way smaller. And now we're going to go and edit that. We'll go to that obit. We're going to upload the new one. There's the new one there. Open. There it is. We're going to grab the link, copy it close the window, scroll down, and we're just going to take that link and delete it, paste in the new one, update, and if we refresh this page, you can see now that that's the perfect width, and if we go to the obit, you can see that the obit's right there, or the obit image is right there. So. That's how easy it is to use that new program. So just to recap, download the software and just save it into an, a folder or onto your desktop. And then you, when you need to use it, you just drag the original image on top of the icon. It will automatically resize it for you. Then you upload the resized image to the website, paste in the image URL into the custom field and press publish or update and you're done. Now I'd also recommend uh, if you want to do any editing to the image I think a better solution is using the 
edit obit pictures with GIMP and you can just click on that if you're in the training page uh, or it'll be here in the sidebar but you can go down and you can go through this video here this is a bit more detailed uh, if you want to do anything fancy or any editing with that image you can do that but for the quick fix you can use the uh, just drag and drop and resize option so those are a couple options for you just to make it easy for you to use the website. For more information about funeral home websites and training videos, visit www.funeralfutureswebsites.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to email them to us at questions at funeralfutures.com. This is Robin Heppel.